All right, let's turn now to Claudia Rosette, a foreign policy fellow at the Independent Women's Forum. Thanks for being with us, Claudio. And uh, Kim Jong Chol, as we said, meeting with Secretary of State Pompeo, what kind of groundwork needs to be established during this meeting? Well, I think we actually need to find out what we can actually confirm that North Korea might give up. You know, so far, there's been quite a lot of theater here. But I haven't seen North Korea sort of do anything that suggests to me that finally they're really going to start taking apart their nuclear program or give it up. So there's there's some big piece of this puzzle that's either missing or we're in for a replay of the whole series of failed deals that now stretch back decades. I, I hope not. Well, uh, Claudia, here's an interesting development. There's a video of North Korean leader Kim Jong-un crying. Uh, about his country's terrible economy. This is reportedly circulating in the country now. Uh, of course, we can't show you the video. We can't get hold of it because of, of tight censorship in North Korea and the clampdown on information. But a defector has described the footage and he says that it shows Kim Jong-un standing on an unspecified stretch of coastline, gazing towards the horizon with tears trickling down his cheek. And then a narrator explains that Kim is distraught over the inability to radically overhaul the economy. Uh, this has been circulated around the country and amongst the party. And, and some are thinking that this could be a sign that he's setting the stage to perhaps give in to, to President Trump in negotiations. What do you think? I think 99.99% this is North Korean propaganda. That is just straightforward propaganda. Those are crocodile tears. This is a man who presided over the assassination of his own half-brother with VX nerve agent, who has been running, he inherited this totalitarian system from his father and grandfather, in which something like a million North Koreans were starved to death, targeted starvation when they ran low on right. food in the 1990s. And he did not actually start liberalizing the politics in any way. He has executed his rivals. Claudia, if he, I'm, I'm, I'm not suggesting that uh, these tears are, are genuine because he genuinely yeah. cares about the people of, of North Korea. Uh, as you say, many egregious abuses there. But the, the thinking is, is these crocodile tears and, and this message is aimed as a precursor for when he does uh, make some concessions because of the, the sanctions that are taking a stranglehold on the economy, that this could be a scene setter even for people within his own party to accept concessions. You, you don't think that that could be a reason? I wish it might be true, but I strongly doubt that. I think that what we're seeing here is Kim Jong-un wants resources for his regime and himself. The people have been second in this scheme going back three generations now under the Kim dynasty. I mean, this really is a totalitarian system. And it's easy to lose track of that when you see, you know, here are the human faces, the sister with her lack of bling and her candid manner and so on. And mm -hmm. now Kim Jong weeping. This is just classic propaganda. And if he wants to see his people do better, you know what he can do? He can open up his political prison camps where he has an estimated, what, 100,000, 120,000 prisoners living in the kind of hell that was Stalin's right. gulag. That's what he could cry over. Uh, Open these reforms. Claudia, very quickly in the 30 seconds we have left or so, if these talks do not yield results, uh, the summit in June, what happens next? I think the we cannot live with a nuclear armed North Korea. They sell it into the Middle East to countries like Iran and Syria and so on. And they are now threatening the United States. So. In the end, I, I think that that regime has to go, preferably without a war, preferably it can be brought down from within or with some help from outside, or we can lean on Kim to dismantle the totalitarian state. If he really wants to have sort of a feel with the people, he can get rid of what is really the most repressive tyranny on the planet. But one way or another, this only gets resolved when that Kim totalitarian regime All right. is gone. All right, thank you so much, Claudia Rosette, Foreign Policy Fellow at the Independent Women's Forum. Appreciate you being with us.